Jeff, your, your job's done. Now you're sitting here on the boundary hoping nothing comes your way. I'm in a hot spot, yeah. <laughs> I'm in a hot spot. Me and Nathan Kello in the hot spots, yeah. Are you ready to roll? It's coming this way. <laughs> well, it's technically gone the other way, Grant, but you're right. There is a hot spot. Joe Warden, you've got to keep him off strike. He likes this. He likes it. I mean, he, obviously, he comes from a rugby pedigree. So he's not used to these situations. Uh, this will be tough for him dealing with the pressure on the cricket field now. Jake Oram hasn't played a game in four years and you've given him the last over. Oh, well, yeah. He's well. Oh, I haven't given him the last over. Oh, I don't ever say. Disappearing in the hands of Jay Wardner, the legendary, legendary Sri Lankan batsman. He has played this game superbly. He's worked the singles, worked the twos. He hasn't overplayed it at all. And now at the at the vital end of the game, he is unleashing on Orem. And now they're having to have a long discussion. Orem and his captain Stephen Fleming. Let's see what see what they've come up with. Now they've got to get him out. They've got to get him out. They want any chance of winning this game. Well, they're thinking to themselves, not again, we can't let this happen again. We have to win this match to save face, the cricketers. And uh, Jay Warden is yanking it out of their grasp. Two beautiful shots down the ground, a four and a six. So now the equation, five off four balls, which is imminently doable. Team cricket can't lose to team rugby two years in a row. Is there another twist in the tail? You'd think if they were just to get Jay Wardner out, and I think it's Fisa Tanu coming in next. Oh, that's a clever ball. It was a little bit slower, and uh, Wardner waited on it. Tries to slice him away, makes no contact, no run. You can see he's really taking it seriously, isn't he, Jay Wardner? There is a bit of respect to Oram for that delivery. It did fool him, but he definitely wants to win. You could cut the air with a knife. at McLean Park. Here we go. Three to go. Boys driven down the ground again and uh, they're going to look for two. Jay Wardner really struggling to get back. It could be a run out, but no. They've thrown to the wrong end. And Jay Wardner in all sorts of pain. Hobbling. Oh, a lot of courage. And uh, he really does look uncomfortable, doesn't he? Of course, he's, uh, he's brought up his 50 with those two, well, we'll call them runs, but it was more of a hobble uh, as he struggles up and down there. Look at him. Oh, even the stretch to turn again, you can see it's just like, oh, no. So, three off, two balls, and can... Team Rugby take it out once again. A dot ball and a wicket here is what's needed. Brown into it big time. Oh, and he's just uh, letting Jason Spice know, don't you be sneaking down the wicket, mate. Well, the next time I'm going to run you out. And crowd. Bring him the big boo there, big Jake Oram. To be fair, I mean, Jason Spice was halfway down the pitch. Uh, you know, you've got to kind of say... He didn't do it, it was a warning. Oh, that's down the leg side. It's going to be called wide. What? Surely. No. It's not called wide. Wow. That's interesting. They said that he moved across, but uh, from oh. what I could see there, his feet were 100% frozen to the spot. They look like a wide to me. Three runs off one ball. It couldn't be more exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is great stuff. Last ball of the inning. Three to win. Crowd getting right behind it. And here we go.
two catches in the deep. He's really contributed today. Oh, that is just brilliant stuff. What a great knock from Jay Wardner as well. And uh, Andy Lee, his heart would have been in his mouth when he saw it coming towards him, but he took it very calmly indeed, didn't he? Oh, for a guy that's a uh, TV star, a comedian, a radio host, he plays a pretty bloody good game of cricket, doesn't he? Very safe hands. And to catch Jay Wardner on the last ball of the game, absolutely incredible. Well, I'd say with all his successes, that's going to be one of the things he remembers for the rest of his life. Andy Lee, fantastic. And that's revenge for Team Cricket, but you've got to say... Team Rugby took them right, right to the wire. They certainly did, uh, Matty, and uh, you can see the boys in the uh, rugby shed, uh, rugby team there. They were gutted. They thought they thought that he was going to clear the boundary. And, uh, and a great crowd here too at McLean Park. I'm sure they've enjoyed it. He's just shaking hands with the coach himself, Mahalo. What an entertaining innings, mate. How's the body, first of all? Are you, are you OK? I think I'm going to get up sore tomorrow, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but it was good fun. It was very good fun. It was uh, good to be you know, back here, um, play a couple of seasons for CD as well. So hometown um, played. I mean, I thought I put Daniel Vittori, Jacob Orum behind me, but I had to you know, <laughs> face them again. It was, but it was good fun out there in the middle. Yeah, we thought you were going to need a runner for a while there, mate, but you gusted out and uh, you entertained this McLean Park crowd and the crowd watching at home. How fabulous to see you back again, Mahana. Thanks for being here this weekend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, James. Cheers. We're going to take a short break here on TVNZ. That is the Black Cash. We'll be back with the presentation right after this.